Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do some complex examples on percentages. So the basic understanding of the percentage and some few basic examples were done in our previous class. This is a continuation class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, once you had that basic understanding, uh, solving it is a bit easy if you, un if you had an idea about what's, how they are going to frame the questions. Uh, in an election between two candidates, 75% uh, of the voters cash their votes. So in an election between two voters, 75% of the voters cash their votes. Out of which 2% of the voters votes are declared invalid uh, means the from the first point 75 percent of the voters cash their votes means not everyone casted their votes only 75 percent casted their votes out of which means out of those 75 percent two percent are invalid votes a candidate got 9261 votes which was 75 percent of the valid votes so one person got total 9261 votes which are 75% of the valid votes find the number of votes enrolled in the election so how many members enrolled in the election that is what they are asking us so we don't know how many numbers enrolled in the election so we are assuming that let the number of votes is enrolled is x we are assuming that the number of votes enrolled is x number of votes enrolled for the election. So from the first statement, 75% of the voters cash their votes. So 75% of x, we, we, we will get the number of voters, 75% voters who casted their vote, we are getting that value. How you are getting that value? 75% of x, this example, we have done in our previous classes 75 percent of x means 75 by 100 multiplied by x this value you are going to get the 75 percent of the voters who that value you are going to get 75 by 100 multiplied by x means this is the value of 75 percent who casted their votes so out of this, out of this, the second point, what they are saying, 2% of them are invalid. So how many valid votes are there? 98% votes are valid. So out of this amount, 98% of the valid votes is equal to 98% of 75x by 100. So this is the amount which casted their votes. Out of this amount, 98%. So 98% of this amount is 98 by 100 multiplied by 75 x by 100. This is the amount of valid votes. Once you got the valid votes, out of this valid votes, what's the third statement says? 75% of the valid votes is equal to one person got 9261 votes, which is 75% of the valid votes. So 75% of the valid votes is equal to 9261. So 75, this is the valid votes amount. So valid votes number. Out of this 75%, 75 by 100 multiplied by this value, this is equal to 9261. Once you understand the flow from the question, this way you are going to solve the percentages examples. So if you had one, uh, uh, one example understanding, solving it is very, very easy. So 75 by 100, 98 by 100 multiplied by, if you, if you solve this x is equal to, these 100 goes to the other side and this 75, 98, 75 is going to get down. So you are going to get x is equal to 16,800. This is the total amount of voters who have registered for election. So 16,800. This is how we need to solve the percentages examples. We'll do one more example for better understanding. Mr. James gave 40% of the money he had to his wife. Mr. James gave 40% of the money he had to his wife. We don't know how much amount we, he is having, but out of that 40% is given to wife. So we are assuming that the James is having X amount of money. So out of that 40%, 40 percent, 40. 40% is given to his wife. He also gave 20% of the remaining amount. So he has given some 40% amount to wife and the remaining amount 
in that remaining amount 20 percent of the remaining amount for each of his three sons means each son got 20 percent 20 percent 20 percent out of that remaining person remaining amount half of the after giving 20 percent for the remaining amount for each of his son half of the amount now left is spent on miscellaneous activities after giving the amount to her uh, to their sons to his sons the amount left half of it is spent on the miscellaneous activities and the remaining amount is 12,000 deposited half is spent on miscellaneous activities remaining half is deposited in the bank what's the remaining amount 12,000 is the remaining amount so we have to come from step by step how much is given to wife what's the remaining amount how much is given to children sons what's the remaining amount in that half of it is going to be 12,000 so once you understand the flow it's very very easy let the initial amount is x 40 percent of the given 40 percent given to wife so 40 percent of x is given as 40 divided by 100 multiplied by x this is the amount given to wife this is the amount given to wife what is the remaining amount remaining amount is x minus 40x by 100 which is 3x by 5 the remaining amount is 3x by 5 out of this 20 percent 20 percent 20 percent is given to sons so 3 times 20 by 100 multiplied by 3x by 5 20 percent means 20 20 percent of 3x by 5 is given to sons three three sons that's why multiplied by 3 so 20 by 100 multiplied by 3x by 5 which is 9x by 25 so this is the amount given to sons what's the remaining amount 3x by 5 minus 9x by 25 is the remaining amount which is 6x by 25 is the remaining amount out of this amount half is spent on the miscellaneous activities and remaining half is deposited in the bank what is the remaining half it is 12,000 so half 6x by 25 is equal to 12,000 x is equal to if you solve this you are getting 1 lakh so what's the what's the amount uh, that uh, james is having one lakh amount is uh, one lakh uh, rupees is there for with uh, james so this is how we need to solve the complex examples of uh, percentages hope you understand these examples in our next class we are going to do some more uh, complex examples on percentages hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates Thank you.